morning and welcome to Naturally Kim's Knitting. I'm Kim and this is my podcast all about knitting and spinning and dyeing of yarn. All but you do from my home outside of Lima, Ohio. I want to welcome everybody today. I tell you, I, I'm still on an anniversary party high. Um, one of my brothers came to the party and uh, my sister and my sister brought um, one of her sons and one of her daughters, which was so nice. Um, it's just so nice to see everybody. And then my father-in-law was here and sorry, I was going to talk about anniversary stuff later. I'm sorry. Um, today's August. No, it isn't. It's August 20th. I didn't change the date. <laughs> and this is not, this is episode. You know what? It's wrong because it didn't refresh. See, I thought I'd change everything. This is August 20th, and today is, ep and this is episode 177. Now, I can be found here and there online. I'm Napier's Knit, um, Knits on Ravelry, and also there's a podcast group, Naturally Kim's Knitting. You can find me on Etsy as Napier's Knit. You can find me on Instagram as Knitting underscore Kim. And you can find me on YouTube, Blogger and WordPress as Naturally Kim's Knitting. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the party was fun, but that night I sat down in, in a chair to knit. And when I got up later, my back was killing me and my feet were killing me. But, you know, you have to decide. Are you going to have fun and not worry about the pain at the moment? Or are you going to sit there and be, you know, just a party pooper. Let's just put it that way. A humbug. Anyways, um, I have some knit alongs going on right now. We have a finished object knit along for August. August. Um, and all you need to do for that is when you finish an object, take a picture of it and you can put it either under the Ravelry thread for August finished objects or you can post it on Instagram under hashtag N K K F O August 2019. N K K is naturally Kim's knitting. F O is finished object. So it's N K K F O August 2019. Then we have a, oh, and if you have a pattern name, please put it with it. If not, that's okay. Um, then we have a baby item knit long. And that also, take a picture, post it. If you have a pattern name, put it with it. You can put it either on Ravelry under the Baby Items Knit Along, or you can put it on, um, et not Etsy, Instagram under hashtag NKK Baby Knits. That's simple, NKK Baby Knits. Now, beginning September 1st, we will be having a work in project craft along. So any work that you have, have already started, but you haven't finished, you know, if, if <clears throat> excuse me, if you finish it in September, it'll count. Okie dokie. This is probably going to be a rather quick, I say this, but watch this. I'll start talking about something. A quick episode. Um, it's warm in here and I haven't turned the air on yet and I don't want to be sweating a lot. So I don't want, yeah, you understand. <laughs> okay. If any of you have any other craft log ideas, um, there is a thread. I need to bump it again, probably on the Ravelry page. Um, or you could, you could um, send me a message on Instagram either way for any ideas you might have and or you could put it under the video or in the show notes. I look all those places and I will see them and I will add them to the list. Okay. I have a lot of knitting I can't show you guys. Excuse me. My other problem with my party was it was all outside and I do have... Um, allergies to grass seed so my husband was being very nice and he mowed two days before but there was enough grass seed in the air grass pollen that 
I haven't had a voice since Sunday. And this is the, well, this is the first, this is the best voice I have. But my throat's rather sore, so I've been drinking some. This is regular water, by the way. It's not what it says it is. I had that for breakfast, the other water. And I just refilled this then. <clears throat> Anyways, I am doing a lot of pattern testing right now. I have two patterns for um, Nita Banks, who has the um, crafty uh, blog <laughs> at my house. <laughs> and then I'm doing a shawl for Myla, which Myla Vayner, which I thank you guys. I decided to go with the blue. That was the majority rule. Yes, I agree whoever said um, the lavender would be pretty, and it would be. I'll save that for another project, though. It, it would have been very pretty, but I'll go with the blue for this time. Um, and then I'm doing a pair of socks for Cece. Now, since it's a pattern test, I cannot show you the socks. And I'm not going to show you Myla's only because I've not gotten that far in it yet. But I cannot show you the socks. But I can show you this yarn. I told you last week that I did something I really didn't want to do. I ordered from Knit Picks yarn that I needed for this uh, for this pattern test for CC. Well, they were a little bit slow getting it to me, so my husband and I had to go to Hobby Lobby to pick up some things for the party. And I found this yarn. I can show you this side because this is the sole. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful yarn? And I got, like I said, I got this from um, Hobby Lobby. It's Wool Free Sock, Premier Wool Free Sock. Um, it has acrylic. I don't know what that is. I don't know, but it feels lovely. I told my husband, I will have to see about getting more um, sock yarn more of this sock yarn for presents and things it's a really nice this is this is for a present it is really nice and the color is called timeless i didn't even look at the color now i looked at it when i bought it yes but look at that and it's going to have a nice stretch to it but yet it's not going to be too stretchy this is going to be lovely and that i can't show you the front of it and i can't show you the cuff because this is CC's um, pattern test. It's a super secret pat pattern test. CC does that, and I abide by her rules because I like pattern testing for CC. Then, I need to get my notes up because I know I'm gonna goof up the name or something. Well, I'll show you. I only worked on, don't wanna knock my water over. Um, I've only worked on this sock this past week. This is my my pattern. And I've only worked on this one. I got the heel done um, and made a little progress up the cuff. But this is from, I want to get her name right, Dagmar Air, and it's Seashell. But it's my pattern. I will be posting it as soon as I get these socks done. I will. Because I've got it typed in. I just have to, you know, put things right in Ravelry. So, there, isn't that gorgeous? Now, I love those socks. Those are a gift too. These are for me. <laughs> this was yarn that was gifted to me by Fiona, Fizona. Um, it's on the online super sock, the Sambia color. And I finished this sock. Boy, the sun is really at a bad angle for podcasting today. I usually do it earlier. Look at that. And I did my own little ribbing for the heel. And isn't that nice? The other sock, I, did I start the ribbing last night? Yes. When I was, when it got close to bedtime last night, I decided I would um, go ahead and work on these. And I finished the one sock and I just started the ribbing on this sock to help hold it up. So look at that. Isn't that 
So th these are for me because the yarn was gifted to me for me. So I, how can I say no to, no to that? So I am just so thrilled by this. Yay. Um, you know what? That's all I have knitting wise to show you because I, I can't show you Mila's yet. Well, I could, but there's really not much to show you. It's not far enough. I don't know. I could talk about it. It's a shawl. But I don't know if I should show it or not. I will have to ask Milo. Um, so we're doing our work in progress next month, starting September 1st. And then after Christmas, because I always do a knit along with a knitting for others at the end of the year. But then giving you lots of heads up, in January, we're going to do one of Milo's patterns. It might even be the one I'm working on now. But she says she'll give us a discount if I just let her know which pattern. So uh, get your, it's it could be an, I think she recommends worsted, but you can use DK in it and it'll come out nicely. But think about it. I've got that blue um, big ball, big Corona ball that's um, gradient. I cannot think of words today. It's a gradient. And I just love the way those work up. So that's what I'm doing. Anyways. Oh, I didn't bring those over. So you know my socks that I was making for the soup kitchen last week. Off the chroma twist. It's the Ferris wheel color. I finished them. They're back there with my finished objects. I just didn't bring them over. They are gorgeous. They are soft as Chroma Twist is. And I'm hoping so like Soup Kitchen. I, I'm looking forward to the fact that they are going to help keep somebody's feet at the Soup Kitchen nice and warm. Okay. Now, I am an affiliate with Knit Picks, as most of you who have watched me before knows. And I always like to put a mention of what their yarn of the month is that they have 20% off of. And they have Capra and Capretta right now, 20% off. And it is a beautiful yarn. Um, if you decide to purchase it, if you could go to my show notes, either um, on Blogger, which is Naturally Kim's Knitting, or WordPress, Naturally Kim's Knitting, or in Ravelry, um, and click on the link, I'll get a couple pennies from your order and I can use that for prizes in the future. And it doesn't cost you any more. So I'm going on to the fun stuff now. The anniversary party. We had a good time. It was so funny. We had a dear friend lend us some yard games. But seeing as how my family only, only sees each other a couple times a year, we just sat out there and talked and talked and talked. <laughs> But it was it was great. Except I don't know any anybody else got too much sun. I did, but that's me. I don't care. Hey, it must my it was my Ruby anniversary, so if I'm a little red, that works right with the theme. Um my oldest brother Rick couldn't come, but it's I understand. But, you know, I wish he could have. The rest of us, we just had a nice time talking. I had my niece and nephew, my sister's um, youngest son and daughter. They came, and it was just so nice. I just truly loved it. Um, yeah. Then this morning, just sitting around, and my son calls me, and I don't know if we're doing it yet or not because my husband gets the final decision. They have a dog. I've told you about Odie before, and Odie is a sweetie. Well, my son and his wife went to go on a trip with her parent, her family. I said, well, I understand. And they need somebody to babysit Odie. I said, well, this is the closest I come to babysitting any grandchildren in my house, so why not? But I said, I have to check with Dad, because he's always been against having two dogs in the house. So... I called my husband. I said, you have to call him right away because he had just got off work. My son did before he goes to sleep and let him know. <laughs> because, you know, once I, I know Ian goes in late. 
Then I know Rachel gets home. What time Rachel gets home? Hummingbird just flew by my house, my window. Um, but I never am sure where is a safe zone for calling in there. Because, you know, they, they do deserve family time. And I don't know when Ian's asleep and when he's awake. So the fact that he called me tells me that if he's asleep, he's not very much asleep yet. So hopefully my husband's able to get hold of him. Anyway, so um, had a good week. Had a great week. I hope you guys had a great week. I told you this was a short podcast. By not being able to show a lot of my knitting, it shortens everything. Um, book reviews. There's a book review on my um, book review um, site, blog, where I, I read this most wonderfully written fictional book about a um, husband and a wife and their daughter who who is autistic. I have read many case studies about autism, but they don't really express the feelings that the parents are going through. This one, oh, it was so touching, so good. Um, so if you're interested in seeing about that, you um, check out the book review. I'll put it down in the show notes too. It was very. I'll try to put in the show notes. If I don't, just send me a reminder and I'll let you guys know what it was. Anything else? We have lots of food left over. But other than that, I feel I feel like my mother. My mother would always, she'd always knew how many was coming for whenever she had a holiday dinner. But she made enough food to feed an army, which we were a small army, basically. But I think I'm doing the same thing, only... I'm fixing for the amount of people she would have come over, and of course I didn't have that. I have asked them. We we always host a holiday party um, at somebody's house, and so I checked with my brother, who's he's he's one of the hosts, and then the other one that's been doing it lately has been my um, nephew Jason and his wife. Well, I asked my brother, I said, because I've got this bigger house. It's not really bigger, but, you know, it's all on one floor now. I said, um, I'd like to host the Christmas party. And they said they didn't care as long as I check with Jason and Stephanie. So that's next on my list. I have to check with Jason and Stephanie and then set a date. So I'm excited. Yes, I'm happy. I'm excited. I just feel I'm doing a happy dance right now. But, um... I guess I'll let you guys go. I really don't have much more to talk about. I appreciated all your comments last week when you, um, a few of you said how you love it when we have these visits. It feels like I'm just popping in to your house and saying hi. And I love it when you say that. Um, just makes me feel good. Makes me feel like I'm doing the right thing by doing this podcast because that's that was my goal was to reach out to other knitters because I don't have a lot of knitters around here. So yay. Anyways, I hope you guys all have a great, great week. I hope all your craftiness is successful and that you don't have any mistakes. But if you do make mistakes, I hope they're little ones. Big hugs. And I'm sorry. I love you all. I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.